Hello everyone, this is Hyrule, I am Will, in today's video I will be reacting to Season 1 Best and Worst Episodes of Lilo and Stitch the series. So this is the second episode of my High Memory Sketch, First, uh, last week we did um, Jake Long American Dragon and now we're going to Lilo and Stitch. Next will be Kim Possible and then probably Cusco and then I'll probably do like or Season 2 of Jake Long. Or we'll go straight to the crossovers episodes of Lilo and Stitch, because there are quite a few, honestly. Like that I do remember, at least. Um, but anyway, let's see what we're gonna watch today. So, the first episode we're gonna watch is... Tank Experiment 586, or 586. The rating is 8.1, and yeah. So, um, I'm gonna be honest, I'll, I'll probably remember this way better than Jake Long because I think I, I rewatched all of the Lilo and Stitch franchise, spin offs, animes, whatever, inclusive, like two years ago or three when I watched the same from Kim Possible. So, I'll probably remember this plot way better. But yeah, um, I'm excited to, to watch it to go back to my probably my, you know, definitely my favorite Disney franchise. So, yeah, as you guys see, I, I, I like Stitch. That's like I like Stitch so yeah anyways we're not wasting any more of our time let's go and watch the best and the worst ring rating rating not ranking rating episodes of the first season of Lilo and Stitch let's it go Woo! Okay, starting right now, I'm gonna tell you, like, um, unlike what happened last week, where for me, like, the intro of American Dragon is totally new, because on Portuguese they dubbed it, this is the same. So, I know the intro. I still know the intro. Iconic. <laughs> Okay, I never, <laughs> I know that I, I said that I knew the intro, but I never understood that they said welcome cousins. And that's all. The rest, I still don't know what it means besides Ohana. Hello, yellow, yeah, and Aloha. Hello, hey, come on by. Um, bow. We love Stitch. This island air eats cars like nothing else in the universe. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, he eats metal or something? Yeah, I think that's it. Is it going to grow? I think, I think what I'm getting at from my little memory is that he eats metal and he grows with that. I think, but I don't know the plot of the episode, honestly. Yeah, he ate all cards. Yeah, he's growing. Okay. I wonder what is, like, his place in the world. Like, what is he going to be doing? Stitch and me will be the fierce Spartans. And you can be the Decanan Athenians! <laughs> we are busy. Basically what Lilo said is, you wanna play winners and losers, me and Stitch will be the winners, you'll be the losers. I would say no too, but... Maybe I would say yes, because I'm a nice person, like... Yeah, sure, why not? Can I be the winners too? This weekend, Elizabethan Festival in just a moment! Oh! You're trying to win tickets to is the this festival? the festival where no, they come. go like medieval, or oh, they're going like princesses? No. Oh. I want to say bad word to that girl. But okay, if this is what I'm thinking it is. They're going to like a medieval festival and they're all going to be like princesses and the friends of Myrtle, they're gonna, like maybe Lilo is cool or something. And they'll be with Lilo and Lilo and uh, Stitch will be with Myrtle for some reason. They have to team up or something, something like that. I'm not sure, but I remember an episode with that storyline. If I had those tickets, I could finally get to spend time with my friends. They're not your friends. <laughs> For you? Now we can all go to the festival. Nuh uh. We have somewhere better to be. Right, yeah, yeah. girls? Well, not really. True. Of course. Then go. I'm staying here. Okay. This is what we call fake bitch. Bitches. 
You can almost watch the helpless little creature going extinct under the threat from encroaching industrial blight. What a like bitch. A sugar factory. Another bitch. Everyone dresses in costume to go to the festival, so our Halloween costumes are perfect. Oh, here we go, some continuity. Oh, that's cute. But I think you can come in for some reason. I'm so excited! My first festival dedicated to primitive Earth history. Are you dressed yet? Dressed? Yes. Hap okay, can we all agree that Jumba and Plickly were the first um, bit of gay couple that Disney did with them looking like a real couple but not being in Plickly dressing up as a woman? Can we all agree with that? Here we got some representation on 2003 when I was one year old. Whoa, this show is old. Nothing this fun ever happens at Myrtle's house. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that doesn't change in Portuguese. No dogs allowed it. The little lass, she had a hound. Twas not allowed upon the ground. So what is she supposed to do? Is she supposed to leave her dog alone? Though clearly he was dealt a blow. Broke it. Break it. Break it, please. You knew she'd trade up someday. Well, that's... That's almost what happened on the spin-off. Things stomping around out there. Don't you want right. to keep arguing with me? No. Bring your great yawning college. I don't like Myrtle, but I think that's like a common situation. But she really annoys me. Like everybody has a Myrtle in their lives, you know. I was thinking about this before I recorded the show. Everybody has a Myrtle in their lives, don't you? Like I had a few, but I'm a very friendly person. So like every Myrtle that I had I was friends with them, but on that term of like. You are there, I'm here, you don't mess with me, and I'm gonna pretend I care about you when I like you. More like that. You'll never guess what happened! I was just leaning against the throne, loosening my bodice, next thing I know, I'm queen for the day! Yay! Oh, I wish I could be the queen for a day. <laughs> Let me come with you! <laughs> she died. On my world. Look, I don't like this anymore. Take me home. Hey, come back! He doesn't care, love. Sorry. You I didn't remember that the, the car did that, but okay. No matter. I'll just have to try again. Ouch. Boy, did I make a Memories. Out with you. Tra -la 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 -la. Okay, the first was cool, now he's getting annoying. Can somebody break that thing, please? Spaceship with advanced alien technology. You're scaring Myrtle them. was right. You really are weird. Yeah! Where are you going? I thought we were friends. Lilo, don't. No, you, you're better than that, okay? We're reading on that, just go and be the hero. Not one single friend to help. I'm happy on season 2 she has a new friend, like Victoria or something. No shoes? Wait, I got it. Perm and red highlights. Oh, there's also a really cool episode where um, there's like an uh, hypnotic experience that um, makes Lilo act like Myrtle and she looks completely like Myrtle. That's why I remembered it, because he, thought he thinks she is Lilo. And she puts like the exactly same hairstyle and is actually like, yo. But it's a, it's a cool episode. I know how to be mean to people. What you Stupid. did. Stupid. Come to Papa Abomination. Warning. Capture containers have been unlocked. What? When I get my hands on. Is this show basically addressing, like, hunting animals? Because basically, what's happened, what the plot of the show is that Lilo has to try to take the experiences that may harm some people to some place where they belong to while Gantu is going after them to give them to the to Amsterville or the bad guy whatever you want to call him 
um, it is interesting, like, hunting and, like, zoo, like, Lilo's trying to put the animals on the safe place for them, while Gento always trying to hunt them to kill, or it just, it won't, it's the zoo guy that they're, ah. I'm probably overthinking this and it's probably just the show, but... Can you stop? But now... That could be a thing! Whoa! Oh, that's the small... The, um, the small ship that they use on Leroy and Stitch. Eat Myrtle, please. Oh, no. I know they're not gonna do it's it, but... Please, just you. Nobody throws earth foul appendages at me and gets away with it! Did you grab them? How did you grab them? <laughs> that... that should hurt him, like... At least on his throat or something. Something that when I rewatched the whole Lilo and Stitch franchise, basically, that annoyed me a lot. I don't even know, I think it was funny and kind of annoyed me at some points is Gentoo's size, you know, height or whatever. Because on the first movie, I'm pretty sure that Nanny was like the size of his foot, like the little part of, the, of his leg that you can see that is not, um, that he has no pants on. So the part a little down, close to his foot, or feet, whatever. Nanny was the size of that. He almost smashed her when he was um, grabbing Lilo and Stitch to go to space. When she was, he was grabbing just Lilo. Or, yeah, Stitch ran away. Anyways. But, uh, yeah. In the rest, on this show, he changes, like, his height. Depending on what the plot needs. Because, like... Here, Nanny is probably on this um, shot. Nanny is probably would be like here to him. Like her head would be here. So understand what I'm saying? Maybe it's a secret power that the show never told us about. Oh, this music is so relaxing. Huzzah, sir Stitch! Huzzah! So Break it, please, Stitch. I know you're not bad anymore, but break it. Break it. Please. Break that thing. Thank you. That's my stitch. Ouch. By the way, something that is also interesting is that they did change stitch design on for the series a bit. Because on the movies, it's a bird. Fur is a little darker. He's a little bit darker and his face is more like rounded. Which I do prefer on the movie. I think it's cuter on the movie. Oh, bro. Light, please. Wake up. Yeah, thank you. Who's my best friend? Stitch. I um, okay, this is why I don't remember <laughs> where the experience was going to because she gave up on the experience. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, being alone has made her weird. Yeah. <sighs> and play less dolls. I... Hey guys. I don't. No, we don't want to do any. I don't know why. Both of them want to be friends with the other three little girls because they're just, they're just annoying. They're just minions, basically. Not minions from like from group, like minions from... they just want somebody to follow because they don't think... they can't think by themselves, which you will see a lot in your life, like all over your life. Um, and normally always end up with the group falling apart. And that then actually you see that some of them are really nice persons, they just... the company isn't that good. So yeah. If you see some group like this, give them advice, like, you better learn, or with some other friends. We are happy exactly as we are, right? Yeah! 
Right. Kinda. Yeah. Mm. I was super happy, exactly as we are too. Yeah. So this was the first episode and the best ranked episode from season one of Flow and Stitch the series. So yeah, it was a really good episode. Yeah, I agreed with the the ranking points of that. Also, I think um, it was cool on the time that I watched because it was them getting out of the formula of Lilo and Stitch always working together and the mean girls being the mean girls. So the swipe up thing is good to get out of the same formula. And it was a good one thing of the episode. And also, like, it gave us some development on both characters because Lilo was like, sorry that I ne neglect neglected you, Stitch. And Myrtle is like, we're gonna play last dolls. And now we see that maybe the problems are the other girls. At least I see that now as an adult. I see maybe the other girls are the problem. Myrtle is also the problem as well. Like, that girl is annoying. Yeah, but really good episode. I would give it a... Maybe eight. Yeah, I would give it eight too of my little rankings. Um, the next episode is gonna be the the worst rating episode, rated rated episode, and that's season one one episode thirty two, Poxy Experiment two two two, which by the picture of IMDb, it's the experiment that makes people sick, and they're gonna and it's gonna make Blickly sick. <coughs> I do remember that episode. I don't know why specifically, but I think today I watched that episode for the first time. It was like on the half, so it was all Blickly was already sick. But then I rewatched the episode again. But I I remember like the first time being something. I don't know. I I have a feeling that I start watching it from the middle, but I understood the story. Hello, hi, come on back, Bell. Oh. Of corn, oh, that's why he's going inside Bleakly, okay. <laughs> By the way, I wonder what this experience place will be. Like, what can he do for good? Maui Onion, thank you very much. You know, this may be the perfect sandwich. Can you do anything at all? Honestly, like watching sandwich. this show when I was a kid made me really hungry for sand sandwiches. Oh, Somebody that. should, like, on a Disney World or Disneyland, whatever, they should have, like, this little, um spaceship and be like a little restaurant of just sandwiches <laughs> that would be a good thing a cool thing i would go there i have to do all the work around here the way that Hawaii just accepts the alien sometimes if they don't like to do groceries it's all fine probably but then when they attack they're like oh my god aliens ouch The point of this episode is that she is not responsible <laughs> to drive. Help me. Yeah. What happened to hmm? you? Don't smell. Don't do that. Ready for what? To operate. Turkey Oh no. No. Stitch is a trained professional. Psychos scene. Check carefully, Nani. Be careful. You have to probably future assassins on your house. Well, they're kids. Let's think like that. Grown up doctors. Oh my god. Everyone thinks I'm too small. So she's going inside. They're going inside bleakly, and they'll be too big because they're gonna grow. Because it's probably temporary, like. Every time somebody goes to somebody's corpse on the show, like Phineas and Ferb as well. Leader gets pimply, smelly, positively revolting. And once leader is revolting, then people are revolting. I don't know when did the ratings of IMDb were done, but if they were made sometime on 2020, I'm understanding why. This is getting uh, some pandemic likes, I think so at least, which is making me sad. I think I'm gonna cry because Lilo and Stitch predict the future, and in the future of this show, well, with the spin-off, you know what happens? They 
We're gonna walk apart. What does that mean to my future? No, I'm joking. I, lo I love... I love that Stitch um, goes around the world helping little girls to solve their problems. Even though I would m Mother Ratch think that they lived forever as best friends. But... Just to say that, yeah, the experience, maybe COVID was something like that, probably Juma created or something like that. And quickly is at the health clinic. Come on, Stitch. Oh, uh, I got about that? No. I you can leave that here. Just this time. It's not <laughs> <laughs> there goes the wig. Something that I was also thinking about the show because I felt the same on the last episode that we were watching um, is that even though it's 20 minutes a lot of things happen on the show like they change they change places a lot of times and I think that's really cool because the plot happens fast and I don't get bored neither repetitive even though the show has the it has a formula of experience and let's let's catch it and put it on their like place um, the way that they put the episodes, it's really well done. Like, wow. Why don't shows nowadays do this? Yeah, I can, I can see why I liked this show when I was a kid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be rational here. I think that there's a way... Oh, I know where the special place of the experience is. Inside Gam too. They're gonna make him sick, and they're gonna leave it like that. That's if we just calm. Why every episode that I'm watching, they don't put the experience on their place? They just give up of them. No oh, Jesus. <laughs> they're basically just doing surfing poses. This of course isn't gonna hurt. Uh, what? Right? Where is he putting him? Not to worry. We'll not be hurting a bit. <laughs> You said it would hurt! But it's not hurting me. Can I ask... Where were they put? And why did they have to... Turn back? Should I know? Should I pretend... That didn't happen? Or can somebody give me like a simple and PG-13 answer, please? Oozy, drippy, gushy blood. Okay, we got the idea. I mean, I can see where they are. So I do think I know where they were put down. Honestly, now that I'm watching, that I think the first time I watched this episode, I didn't like it for some reason. I think this is gonna take a while to for them to catch the experience. Not sure though. <laughs> Just a feeling. <laughs> now I want a buggy. I wanted a jeep, but now I want a buggy. Watching this is making me so like I give me such desires of swimming. I wanna swim. Little girl! Six to six, are you hearing me? You must hurry or Pleakley will explode! Don't I see that on some other show? I think I saw something like that on another show. They actually exploded. Better in the ball. Look! <laughs> like, the fact that he ate, like, an apple. And we can see the part that you normally throw at the trash. They're aliens, I guess. <laughs> Although if there were aliens, if are if there are aliens in our world, I would rather I would probably think that they are more humanoid than normally animated shows make them. <gasps> Careful! Oh, hurting. That okay, that must be so. Not good. That must be so bad. Oh god! I have lenses and I have to touch my my eyes when I put them on and off and having something in your eye like. Touching it is not it's not good, especially that had like stinky things. 
Is that? I'm gonna see a plot a plot hole here. Is that not going to get bigger inside Blake? They would explode anyway. That, my friend, is where you're They're gonna control like his body or something. Control his brain. Yeah. Which is actually pretty small. That... It would probably... No, um, Flickly would not still be able to climb the wall. Because it doesn't have like... His body is not made to climb the wall. But I know his Stitch body is, so that's probably why he did it. But anyway... <laughs> it shouldn't be stronger. It shouldn't be strong enough to, to get out alone still. He probably just hurt himself, but... We're gonna ignore it because it wasn't strong enough to defeat Kanto at least. Ouch. Ooh. I am so See now now Gantu is bigger. Blitz snack, it's probably like a bad word. Cause I, I remember hearing that word on Leroy and Stitch. And sounding like a sh Dear. <laughs> well, everybody is basically. Let's try this. And probably some fur. <laughs> Why are they not floating anymore? Now let's get out of here before. Why isn't the boogie? Hurry! Oh great! Now we're too big. Look at that! Yeah, grab the car. Why isn't the car going bigger and bigger? Sometimes being little is the only way to get things done. Oh, uh, okay. True. I didn't want to catch it like this. Yep. <sighs> Feel bad for Gantu, though. Get... Out of bread again. I hate this planet. <laughs> Same. <laughs> this was the episode. So the episode is done, and for the worst rated episode of season one it was actually pretty good like i had fun watching it i didn't thought it was a bad episode i would give it a seven not a six or what the hell is not what was the rent the rated the rating it was um 6.9 yeah it's almost a seven i would give it a seven as well yeah pretty good still so the last episode that we're gonna watch today is another the another best rated episode and this one is called slash experiment 523 and is season one episode 27 so yeah by the picture of imdb i know that is the um, episode where we have elsa basically we have the the frozen experience and yeah amazing that's funny that's funny i think that was a episode that i always liked it. I, I can't say I do remember a lot of what happened just besides the fact that oh I gets in like snow like full snow and then they fight on a volcano I think or something like that um I think they're gonna yeah, and I also think they're gonna use one of the five experiments to fight with them yeah I think that's it and then I know that the um, the experience ends up um being a ice man like doing ice creams for people. I don't know how you call that, honestly. Ice cream maker, I don't know. But yeah, I remember that because I remember seeing him on the Leroy and Stitch doing that. Which I would love if there was something like that on the UK, but at least where I live, there's not. I mean, in some places yeah, I've seen I've seen it here, but I, I wanted one that was like in front of my house. Because when I was small, like little, little, uh, when I was basically in kindergarten, um, there was some time that when I got home, there was like the ice cream man there, but then they stopped, they stopped, they stopped coming, they stopped doing, and the ice creams were really good. I remember like being really happy to get home, and then we would buy ice cream, we would put them on the freezer, and the, we would eat it after dinner, but I have good memories. Oh, this is being so nostalgic for me, <laughs> going to, <laughs> to even uh, like, memories, nothing to do with the show, but... <sighs> I miss being a kid. I really do. Must be the hottest day of the year, huh, Mrs. Hasegawa? I do. And that's, that's normally always the plot that. where we have like a freezing episode that it starts with being the 
hottest day of the um, year. That's a dollar. Go buy us one. Don't eat a dollar. It's gonna go out? Yeah, no poor stitch. Wow! Did I get any change? <laughs> Little is me. Stitch? That's I'll just take more it. Than change. He's gonna freeze the helicopter. Maybe some pipe and hot tomato soup. I can make you a cheeseburger. I would like a cheeseburger. Five, two, three, Not now, but. In a bit. Oh, okay, that's why you wanted the helicopter. Let it go! Let it go! Can't hold it back anymore! Okay. Yeah, he doesn't like snow because it's basically water or because he doesn't want to try anything new. 515, your thermostat is adjusted. Yeah, but this is the, the experience. This is the experience they're gonna use to use to fight against the ice one. Ahead. We must quarantine this area against the invasion. It may wow. already be too late. The way that both these last two episodes are coming to Little COVID. Aliens falling it's, from the sky. It's sad. Six to six does not like snow. It's form of water. I agree yeah. with I have an idea that will keep you warm. We're gonna dry stitch. Really? Don't be bad to Gantu. Don't leave him like that. Stitch, come on. He's not the bad, bad guy. Hello, cousin. Okay, he's saying it way more times than I remembered. No, not very evil at all. But it makes snow and that's good. You can slide on it, throw it at each other, even yeah. make snow zombies out of it. Yeah. She just freezes. She just freezes the experiment like that. Not being scared that he's gonna run away or something. Well, I'm not. I think you and your dog are weird. <laughs> I love Lilo. Projectile. Projectile? You mean for? Careful. Haha. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's way too freezing. Oh, he's gonna get that. Should have that water should not. <laughs> I frozen like that should frozen like his all upper body. What if somebody tries to stop you? There's no way anyone could even get up here to try and stop me. How is Gant not cold? Your help. See, he's basically Elsa. Even if he's almost palace thing. Sorry to say, but that hat would fall. Ha! I guess you could say I iced them. <laughs> Gantu just murdered. Yeah, in, you in his head, he murdered two people. Fellow human and experience, a kid and experience. Just distract you. From what? Him. Huh? Well, them. <laughs> That's cool. Attack! Let's go, Splody! That should be melting all of the castle. The experience should melt the castle. And it would fall into the... Into Slushy. Slushy, Splody... Two similar names for me to understand them. Oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. No, he didn't. That's what I told you. Yay! Uh-oh. Oh, no! Careful! 
Here goes all her Benji. Hmm. That was cool. We just make like a little sun. Your little uh, sludgy friend. He was a real lifesaver. Not a problem, Luigi. But it doesn't make flavors. And this was the episode. So with all the episodes watched, I think you can all agree how this show is and always going to be one of the greatest from Disney um, Channel or Disney shows overall. I think this franchise is one of the best overall and I think it's probably the biggest like animated franchise because it has like movies, the show, spin-offs and spin-offs and now the f I think in some years ago there was a manga. Um, yeah. I honestly would love if they did like a new series of Lilo and Stitch with Lilo or without Lilo for me that's that's fine even though I would prefer prefer if it was with Lilo like after after this some years after this show ended like um, Lilo being on high school or something or if it was not with Lilo putting Stitch in the other country Can, we could do another place that wasn't that is not Asia because they already had two shows on Asia so that would be cool if it went somewhere else Maybe like some Texas or Mexico, somewhere like with a good, with a, a good amount of culture as well. But yeah, um, this show made me miss my childhood a lot, and summer as well. Hmm. I think it's good to revive this this show. That I'm liking this how this is going. I will give this episode an eight as well. Like I think they are well rented, rated. Um, yeah, that, that, this was it, guys. I'm, I'm kind of feeling nostalgic now and sad because I'm, I'm an adult. And that's sad. Also good, that's things I couldn't do when I was a kid that I can do now. <laughs> Definitely, so yeah. And I'm going to go to work now, so I'm going to have to end up the video really shortly. Um, Next week or the next week, I don't know if it's coming next week, whatever. Um, It will be... The Kim Possible Season 1 Best and Worst Rated Episodes. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. And I hope you guys are liking this. Um, back to the past things. Feeling nostalgic and all. And yeah, this was it guys. I hope you guys have liked the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on these episodes. And on... Um, the franchise overall, you can tell me about anything. I'm not a negative person that says that I hate that I hate the spin-offs just because that's the popular um, answer. Everybody's like, oh, I hate the spin-offs, how they destroyed Ohana, the meaning of the show was nobody gets left behind and Stitch literally leaves Stitch, uh, Lilo literally leaves Stitch behind, or you can say, um, you can say like the opposite, whatever. Um, but I don't hate, I don't see him like that, I see as that what I said before, I like to think that Stitch like goes around the world and he helps like kids that needed him as Lilo needed when she was a kid and like on the spin-off she's older so she doesn't need him anymore but they'll still always want to be a family like that happens on families you grow apart, you meet other people but they're still your family so like the Ohana is never broken even though she's not with him 24-7 they're always special for each other and they'll always will be so yeah um comment something let's talk about little and stitch um subscribe for more stuff as well follow me on my instagram if you want it's hyrule official and yeah with that said i hope you guys have an amazing week night evening whatever whenever you are and this is hyrule and i will see you next time bye bye Woo! Anyway, I'm feeling tired now, honestly, and I have to go to work. <sighs> watching watching stuff for one hour <laughs> makes me really tired, honestly. But yeah, it's 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 my job, and now I have university too as well. So yeah, but it's it's fun. I like doing this, especially now that I'm not watching any show like in specific. There's no actual compromise here. I can just watch things that I miss from when I was a kid and that's that's actually 
pretty cool. I haven't done this before, like on the channel. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are liking this new stuff. So yeah, bye bye guys. See you.